In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a custom template in FL Studio 21. This will generally save you a lot of time when starting a new project, as it allows you to have your preferred settings, instruments, effects, and other tools already set up in advance. Let's go ahead and open up FL Studio. One of the default templates will probably load up, but if you want to open up a project that is completely blank, you can go to File, New from Template, and then click empty. Once you have your blank project open, you can start customizing your template. This can include setting up your preferred instruments, effects, mixer channels, and any other tools or settings that you typically use. My custom template is blank in terms of instruments and samples, but it has everything already color-coded, labeled with some effects plugins, buses, and routing, ready to go in the mixer. If you want to download my custom template, I'll leave a link in the description for a free download. It does have a few third-party plugins, including Ozone 9, Span, Ulean Loudness Meter, and a couple others. Feel free to tweak my template to make it your own or just use it the way it is. If you want to set up your own custom colors in the playlist, right-click on an open track, go to Rename Color and Icon. From here, you can rename it, choose your custom color, and even pick an icon if you want. It's the same process to color things in the mixer as well. Adding instruments, synths, and effects should be pretty self-explanatory as it's one of the first things you need to learn to use FL Studio, so I'm not gonna go over that in this tutorial. Once you have your template set up the way you want it, go ahead and save your template by going to File, Save As, navigate to your FL Studio 21 folder, then go to Data, Templates, and you can save it in here, or place it in any of these folders if you prefer. Go ahead and name your template whatever you want. For some reason, I'm getting an error message that I don't have permission to save in this particular folder. This might just be a local issue on my computer and there could be a ton of reasons why it's happening. Hopefully you don't have this problem, but if you do, instead of trying to troubleshoot it, let's just save this template on our desktop or any other folder you want, and then we can drag it back into the proper folder after the fact. And keep in mind, if you have multiple versions of FL Studio on your computer, make sure that you're saving your template to the right version of FL Studio. At this point, we need to exit out of FL Studio, then we can reopen it, and now we should be able to see our new custom template in the menu. If you want to set up your custom template so that it loads up automatically every time you open FL Studio, go to Options, then General Settings, scroll down until you see Miscellaneous, then you can set the default template to your new custom template, and make sure that the startup project is set to default template. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. Also, I have a Discord community which we would love for you to join. I'll leave a link in the description. And if you're struggling with anything production related or if you're brand new to music production, I do offer one-on-one -on -one private lessons which you can sign up for on my website at anothermonsterproductions.com. I'll be sure to leave a link in the description for that as well. I do have tons of other FL Studio tutorials on this channel. So if you wanna learn about compression, which is one of the more confusing things to really understand, check out this video on the left side of your screen which will teach you everything you need to know about compression and how to use the fruity limiter to compress things. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.